add me on Snapchat. Hey everyone, it's Trevor. Welcome to another episode of Gaming with Trevor. So, uh, obviously we're right back here on Mount Moon. Uh, yeah, after losing to that rocket twice. God, that sucks. Uh, I said I was going to do a little bit of uh, off-screen training, in which uh, I actually did. Uh, as you see here, Skull Kraken is now up to level 12. As you can see by the stats. Uh, Brute Root got to level 17. And Billy here got to level 17 as well. But, uh, for my sanity, we're gonna go after him again. Is this gonna be the three times the charm? I don't know, we're gonna find out. Looks like it will be three times the trip. Wait, wait, hold on a second. Nice. Nice. Three times is the charm. But Spiro is dead apparently. Yeah, it took me three tries just to beat you. God damn. Anyways, moving on. This guy is required to fight, and oh, I need Spiro. Uh, uh. Oh God, damn it! Okay, you know what? I really don't want to have to do this, but. Too bad, I'm doing this. What the hell? Did it just say A, B, C, and D? <laughs> I think it just did. Alright, so... Yes, thank you, thank you. Alright, that's better. God damn. Alright, we're gonna cut back to, uh, where that rocket is that we gotta go to. And I may do some off-screen training, too. Alright, <clears throat> welcome back. Uh, no one really gained a level on the way back, but, uh, we are ready to, uh, finish our trek through this mountain. And, uh, it is currently 7.30 at night, and my 8 o'clock wake-up alarm is gonna be going off here within, uh, half an hour, so that's just nice. So I need to make sure I, uh, get all this done by then. 
Alright, so we're gonna fight this dude. This rocket is uh, required to fight. Uh, why is all these rockets talking about fossils? Haven't y'all heard of Grandpa Canyon? Alright, uh, we're gonna switch out to... Uh, it's a Rattata, so, uh, eh. Root, root. But yeah, that's, that's, that's also another thing. You know, if it's just a Rattata, you know, whatever. But if it's a Raticate, dear god. <laughs> Skull card coming to level 13! Zubat. Yes, we're going to shift to. Back to uh, Skull Kraken. But we're gonna go to Billy. Attack. Wow, that sucked. Nice. Well, I still would have gotten confused from all that. Nice. Damn! Stay away from a life of crime. You don't even know who I am. I forgot my laptop was down there. I was like, where the hell did my laptop go? It's not on my other desk. Here, Moonstone! I knew there was a hidden item back over here. So yeah, you can be able to get uh, Clefairy and Jigglypuff's final evolved form in this same exact place if you want to. Uh, I don't think there's an item back over that way, so... I don't know why I just stepped over that way. Alright. So, here we have a very important battle. What is that, a fossil? Hey, stop, I found these fossils. They're both mine. None of we have to say anything about this. We have a super nerd here. Ooh, Grimer. Ooh. Probably Brute Root would be our best option. Oh god, what is it? It's really a move that I'm not really gonna use. Yeah, that's Disable for you. In this game, Disable pretty much picks a random move in your arsenal of a Pokemon that's out right now. And it just disables it for five turns. In later, ga in later games, it's disable only works for the one that you last used. So in this game, disable is useless. I think this guy has a Voltorb and a Magnemite on standby. Okay, there's the Voltorb. Okay, skull cracking. Alright. Now he 
doesn't have any electric attacks, so we're gonna go to Billy. I did like three damage. How was that a critical hit? Pathetic Voltorb. Oh, coughing. Okay, I was wrong. Um, hmm, that's a defensive wall. So, special attacks away. So, we're gonna switch out to Skullcracken. Yeah, Sprite mess up. safe side because you know why not smog well good thing I have Ivysaur out here because smog is a poison move uh, I think it's a 20% chance of poisoning but since Root Root here is a uh, poison type it can't get poisoned Which is nice. There's the smog again. Alright, we took him down with no problems. Okay, I'll share. Yeah, that's right. We each take one. No being greedy. Alright, so we have a choice here. We have a Dome Fossil, and we have a Helix Fossil. Now, in this game, everyone always goes for Dome, but me personally, I like Helix, because, you know, Team Helix. So we're going to go with the Helix Fossil. Yes, I want the Helix Fossil. And the dude just takes the, the uh, Dome Fossil. Far away on Cinnabar Island, there's a Pokemon lab. They do research on regenerating fossils. Really? Well, that's some really good information to know about. Because Cinnabar Island is all the way towards the uh, latter half of the game. You know what? Just for that, Geodude, just for that, you are going to die. We're thinking you're more important than a Helix Fossil. You're going to die. Thanks for playing. Have a good night. Oh, we grew level 18. Alright. Walk out through there. Through here. And we are out. Cerulean City. Nothing here. I keep thinking of the remake. Uh, is there anything down here? No, there's nothing down here. Okay. Oh, there's not him here. TMO4, that is, uh, let's see here, that is Whirlwind, uh, useless move is useless, also I should mention that once you hop down these ledges, you can't go up that way, so pretty much everyone and anything up until this point, like this point and back over the pallet town, we can't go back to for quite a while. So, yeah. 
and welcome to Cerulean City. As always, going into a new town, you should always go heal up at the Pokemon Center. As you should always do. Alright. We finally made it through that mountain. And we finally reached uh, this town. So, what we're going to do is, we're going to go out over this way. And uh, we are going to do a little bit of some training, because we got a very big fight that we're going to have to deal with. Plus, oh hey, a Spearow! Pass. <laughs> Uh, there's a random encounter out here that I want to show off. It's, uh, the only new Pokemon out on this route. Well, technically there's two, but there's one for this game, and there's one for the other version. Uh, if I can find it. There it is! This is where you can find Ekans in red, and if you were playing blue, uh, it would be Sandshrew, a ground-type Pokemon that really learned no ground-type attack. Uh, Ekans in this game was only good for having the move Glare, but other than that, just a weak generic poison type. Alright. I'm going to do a little bit of some off-screen training, and uh, we'll meet you back at the uh, Pokemon Center, so we'll see you then. Okay, so uh, I actually eventually decided that I'm not going to uh, do off-screen training because, well, f for one, Yes, there is a kind of a big important fight that we can do. Actually, there's two important fights that we could do right now at this point. But I would honestly do this one uh, first. So we're gonna go up here. If I were you, save. In fact, I'm gonna do that right now. Boom! It's Gary! Yo, Trevor! You're still struggling along back here? I'm doing great. I caught a bunch of strong of strong and smart Pokemon. Here, let me see what you caught, Trevor. Alright, so this is the first rival battle where you have to win in order to progress the story. And he has... He starts out with a Pidgeotto. I mean, finding a Pikachu in the Braden Forest would have been nice. Oh my god. I uh, heal. So much for that. Um, okay, uh, I don't know what to do. Just let Billy die, huh? Well, I guess it's all in Brute Root now. Like how I said, Gus is a normal move in this game, so I can breathe a little bit. Here comes the Lauren of the Accuracy. <sighs> God damn it. If I could beat him with just Root Root, that'd be nice. Skullcrack and Gorilla level 14. About to use Abra. 
Oh, Billy, why are you still dead? Oh my god, why isn't Skull Kraken at 15? It'd be perfect! Because this Abra can't really do nothing. In this fight, Abra can't do anything to you. However, when it evolves, that's when it starts becoming a threat. But, luckily, that's in the next rival battle, which will be in, I don't know, three times from now? But, yeah, I can't do anything, so back to Brute Root we go. Because that's all it's going to try to do, it's going to try to teleport away. Oh, oh man, I don't have, that was my last one? Ooh. You know what? I'm gonna put up a leech seed. Put up a leech seed is probably my best bet on getting some uh some health. Cause I would like that. Da -da. Yes, switch over to Skull Kraken. Alright, switch back to Brute Root. Now, his Rattata isn't too bad, but it can get annoying. Take it, take it! Woo -hoo 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 -hoo. Yes! Oh god, I don't know what to do now. Yeah, I. Damn! Well, Skull Kraken saw you. Just splash away. <laughs> Away. Yep, that's it. Yeah, it migrated or what? And we blocked out and lost what all my money? Yeah, looks like I'm gonna have to do some off-screen training. As much as I hate doing that. But, if anything, I need, like, potions. So, we're gonna go, uh, buy some. Oh yeah, they sell repels here! I can only buy two potions. And I have three dollars left. Oh, let's see here, what can I sell? I'm gonna sell some of these Pokeballs, cause I got too many of them. I'm gonna sell... Okay, I have 13. I just keep at least five on me, so... Yeah, that should be fine. Antidote, don't really want or need. Team of four is whirlwind, so we're gonna go ahead and get rid of that, because I don't need it. In fact, I'm gonna go and uh, withdraw some of these. Uh, I need to deposit some items anyways. Deposit, I want to deposit the, uh, well, I want to deposit these Moonstones, because I'm not going to use them, but I might in the future. Put the Helix Fossil in there. 
Okay, withdraw. I don't remember what these moves are, so I'm, I'm just gonna withdraw them. Alright, 34, I think that's bide. Yeah, that's bide. We're gonna sell that. 12, that's... That's water gun, that's a good one. So we're gonna keep that. And one, that is Mega Punch. So, alright. We're gonna put Water Gun and Mega Punch back in the PC. So I'll just only sell Bide. Honestly, I would recommend if you if there's an HM or well, a TM move that you don't want, I would recommend you keep it and then you sell it at the closest Pokemon because you get money. At least that's what I would recommend you to do. But you know, you can do whatever you want. dollars for bide? Hell yeah, I like that. Alright, so now we're gonna buy more potions. Uh, let's see here, how many can I buy with two th $2,300? I can buy seven. But I think buying three would probably be good. Uh, and I'll pick up some repels. I can buy, damn, I can buy four repels. I like that. Oh, that's me with $53. Okay. Um. So now that that, you know, battle is there, we're gonna be doing a little bit of training. Thank God that missed. Jesus. Die. How close am I to leveling up anyways? 573. 403. 527, okay. Okay, you know what, we're just gonna go ahead and call it quits for this video. Because, uh, well, I said so. So I'm going to save here again <laughs> in the same video. And, uh, we will see you here next time, and hopefully we will have enough power to take down our rival. So, yeah. Thanks so much. Bye-bye.